The effort to recall California Governor Gavin Newsom is gaining support across California, with 6,000 churchgoers signing the petition this past weekend alone. But as one of America's Pearson Sharp explains, organizers say even more Californians need to get active and sign the petition now if they want to take back their state. The first petition to recall California Governor Gavin Newsom is gaining momentum as organizers say support is pouring in from across the state. California residents who say they've had enough of their governor's radical left-wing policies are joining in support for an effort to remove Newsom from office. Churches across the state are major rallying points for those who want to get involved, like here in Calvary Chapel in Chino Hills. At this one event alone, officials say over 6,000 churchgoers signed the petition from Aaron Cruz to recall Governor Newsom. Gavin Newsom has run California into the ground. You know, we thought that California was struggling. Well, he's put that last nail in the coffin. Aaron Cruz, CEO of Ran Action Fund and the lead proponent for recalling Gavin Newsom, launched a petition to recall the governor in September after officially getting approval from the California Secretary of State. Cruz says that while the campaign is running strong and has great momentum, the numbers reported by the Secretary of State do not match their own internal records, and they're investigating discrepancies in Los Angeles, Orange County, Mendocino, and Napa. But volunteers are still turning out all across the state, where Cruz says they've received an outpouring of support, including from two of the largest evangelical groups in California. This past weekend alone, some 260 petition signing events were held, with tens of thousands of people turning out. Even Newsom's own base is fed up with the so-called do-nothing governor, and Cruz says up to a third of all those signing the petition are actually registered Democrats. Not only that, but now her petition has official backing from the Libertarian Party of California, which accuses Newsom of gross mismanagement and failing to represent the people of California. To successfully recall Gavin Newsom, 1.5 million signatures are needed, but Cruz is aiming higher for 2.3 million just for a safe margin of error, though they must be turned in by February 13th of next year. Gavin Newsom has been a career politician for a very long time, and there are many others like him that are in politics who've been running the state into the ground. And that's why we need to get back on track. For residents who want to get involved, Cruz urges them to visit the website www.ranaf.org, where they can print out and sign a copy of the petition. Cruz also says that anyone who wants to receive an official petition they can mail back, registered voters should send a stamped, self-addressed number 10 envelope to the address you see on your screen. Donations are also welcome, says Cruz, who explained circulating the petition throughout California is an expensive operation. And since the recall effort also relies on volunteers, anyone who wants to help distribute forms or any business owners, church groups, or clubs who want to carry the petitions should send an email to join at ranaf.org. The more businesses willing to carry the petitions and the more volunteers willing to distribute them, the more chance it has of succeeding. While residents say they're fed up with Gavin Newsom, the recall effort won't work unless Californians actually get active and sign the petition. And according to Cruz, their chance isn't later. It's right now. Pearson Sharp, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.